I'm Professor Claire Rickard from Griffith University. At the Alliance for Vascular Access Teaching and Research, we're improving care for patients all around the world. Vascular access is really interesting because it cuts across almost all medical areas. Without uh, good access to the bloodstream, we can't give antibiotics for infection, we can't give chemotherapy for cancer, we can't give blood transfusions for trauma or even an operation with an anaesthetic. So it's kind of an everyday uh, device that is throughout our healthcare system that until now people haven't really taken a great deal of notice of. There's about two billion intravenous devices used around the world each year and we know that between one in four and one in two of them have a complication leading to that device failing. By reducing the complications that we're seeing in intravenous catheters, we're saving patients from a lot of unnecessary painful procedures, a lot of repeated needle sticks. We're also preventing life-threatening infections and many of the other interruptions to therapy and wasted time and costs that patients are experiencing now. We're really challenging the way care has been given to vascular access devices for many decades. We're finding many of the time-consuming and expensive practices that nurses do now are actually unnecessary necessary and on the other hand there's other more effective ways we could be inserting and maintaining those catheters so that they keep working and we can keep delivering treatment. In the old days people did things because that's how they've always done it. Now people have got a much you know much more inquiring mind and want to make sure that there's science behind whatever it is that they're doing rather than just somebody said to do it like this. Recently the National Health Service in England made our results mandatory for care of peripheral intravenous catheters and we get emails and phone calls every day from hospitals around the world telling us how excited they are to see our findings and how fantastic they're finding them in implementing them in their practice. We now have over 100 researchers and microbiologists, scientists, um, doctors, nurses working with us in various um, organisations around the country and around the globe. When you go to to um, international conferences, when you go to, to local conferences, they know who the avatar group is immediately. They, they, as soon as you say that you're with avatar, they know straight away that you're looking at vascular access and that you're aligned with Griffith University. It's great to know that every day our research is used uh, throughout hospitals by everyday nurses, everyday doctors, everyday patients. It's wonderful to think that you know somewhere in the world tonight a little old lady won't need to have multiple uh, stabs in her veins to get a catheter in because we've shown that longer dwelling catheters can be safely used. <laughs>